Transformers animated review. Yay! So, anyways, we're going to be doing Transformers animated sound wave today. So I'll give you a little 360 view of them. Uh, I love this figure. You know, I'm not. I'm just gonna say, oh yeah, he's okay. No, I love him. You no, know, he was awesome when I got him. I got him with Jazz at the same time, and I was like, oh my god, the two bestest figures. But uh, uh but uh, Blitzwing is better. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So we're we're gonna take off Laserbeak, and we'll do him later. I'm just focus on this car. It's a it's a it's a lean, mean, you know, this, like, sound truck. It has G1 references right there, like this icon and, like, a tape recording thing type sign on the sides of both cars. We have a Decepticon logo right there on the front and, like, a pause and play button right there on the front of the car. And, uh, yeah. Uh, these windshields are painted black, but you can still kind of see them. That's what I. That's what I uh, don't get. You can see through them, and you can see all the mech. And at the bottom, I like the bottom because you know nothing, like literally nothing shows. You can see a little bit of his chest plate right there. That is it. You know everything is nice. It's good. It's hidden. All right. That's that's what I love in a toy. If you're ever gonna do a stop motion. <laughs> oh hey miss, look. It must be like a regular car because nothing's underneath, right? All right, so size comparison in his car mode. We'll take Bumblebee and Jazz. Oopsie, Jazz. And uh, Soundwave is much taller than them. He is taller than him. I'll tell you that. It doesn't touch him. But uh, when he transforms, he is quite short. So that's the downside. So yeah, that's his car mode. It's nice, it's cool, and it's slick. Laser beak. Laser beak. Laser beak is one of the more coolest, one of his best accessories yet. It's this nice mellow air guitar thing. And it's really cool. So his size comparison. We'll just put Bumblebee right there. And uh well wow, Bumblebee I guess is really Dollar. I mean, oh, my bad. April Fools. No, April's over. Laser Beak is taller. So, anyways, we'll transform Laser Beak right now, just really quickly, just just to show you. Take these, separate them, make that forms the wings. Take this. This doesn't really lock in place. It just kind of sits there. Once it gets to the end, it gets a little bit tight. And then you take this and you just push it up like that. Alright, and here's laser beak, and uh, there's a, some some detail in his face. There, there actually is lots of detail, it's just it's not painted, you know? There you go, you can see that. So anyways, now we'll move on to transforming sound waves. So the first thing you want to do is pop that up. If you uh, see the camera kind of, you know, head a little bit far, it's just because sound wave is kind of complicated. Alright, split the front like that. So just leave it split and f up like that take these sections and just split them apart like that and it reveals the chest plate and the arms and stuff so leave that like that alright moving on to his feet take these and rotate them all around to reveal his uh, kneecaps and the things go inside so then we have this giant gap right take the f hands I mean the feet and twirl them around well twist them around like this fold the feet up. Is that his feet? No! Because of that. So we'll move on to that in a second. Take this and flip it up and we get a nice good cassette type thing. Alright, take the cassette. And it took me a while to get this the first time. You actually have to put some force in it to push it up and it locks in place. Alright, see now we're getting sound wave. Grab his legs, take this, turn around like that. Rotate his legs so they're at the forward again. So now he can actually stand. Take his hands, and they uh, they were like this, and extend them out like that. And there's a little stab in there where he can fold out his fingers. So I just do the same with the other hand. All right, and we're gonna stand him up. Take the wheels, and turn them in like this. So we get 
like a sound system type thing. And I don't have fingernails, so I'm going to lose the laser beak just like in the jazz review. Stick whatever you're using in there, grab a hold, and pull down Soundwave's head. And now we have Transformers animated Soundwave in robot mode. Is he not cool? He is, like, I, I love him, you know? Soundwave, what do you have to say about yourself? Isn't that cool, eh? how I did sound my voice? Yeah, I'm so cool. And if you didn't hear what he said, he said he's the best toy in the world. So, uh, yeah, this is Soundwave in his robot mode. Um, you can take laser beak in his uh, robot, his, ro well, his bird mode. There's these little clips right here. And uh, his feet will clip onto them like they clipped onto the back right there. And uh, I can make it look as if he is talking to his bird. Squawk! <laughs> no, I can't be like Sean Long. In fact, we all, we all will miss Sean Long. He was a great toy reviewer, but he opened up his new channel. So, uh, good for him. So, this is as possibly as tall as you'll ever get Soundwave, because you kind of have to put his feet out like that. You can't actually make him straight, or else he won't stand properly. So that's as tall as Soundwave will ever get. Let's give him a size comparison. So, uh, put old fat Sentinel Prime there. Sentinel Prime is taller. And, uh, just for this review sake, I'm gonna put Black Arachnia beside him, but I'm gonna hold Black Arachnia since... Oh, wait, no. There we go. Now she's standing. A little leaner. There we go. So, uh, yeah, they're both actually much taller. That's what I tried to tell you guys. He is short in his robot mode. So, articulation-wise, um, the feet, it's actually pretty cool. They're on this hinge right there, and they can move like that. So you can push his feet out like that. So that's cool. As you saw before, these turn all the way around, and uh, they can bend like that. They, the knee can bend a little bit like this. And uh, this can go up and down and sideways. As you saw before, the waist can turn all the way around. Um, his arms will turn all the way around. Take his hands. And uh, they're on this ball joint, as you can see. That's one of the other coolest things about Soundwave. Is that that ball joint will, will as actually can move around like that. See, now I move the ball joint. Isn't that cool? So that, that can turn, and his head, if you can get it the right way, can turn all the way around. You just gotta put some effort to it, because sometimes it gets stuck. He can turn all the way around, and he can go up and down, just just, just a little bit. So uh, yeah, that's Soundwave. Uh, look, there's, I like the how they went from a truck to the cassette thing that appeared, and this is the thing that was in the top of his truck. I mean his shirt, ship. Uh, blech, car, damn it, I suck. So uh, we'll turn, we can transform Laser Peak back into his uh, thing, and it doesn't say on the instructions, but everybody's doing it. You can take these ginormous plugs that stick out, and there's the hole where the screw goes right there. I'm not showing you guys anything, I suck. You place it in there, and Soundwave can hold his guitar. How cool is that? That's, that's one of the coolest things that I love about Soundwave. Yes, you can play Guitar Hero Soundwave. So that's my Soundwave review. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. I enjoyed reviewing this toy, and I hope you guys will come back to see more reviews. Goodbye, everybody.